the best volleyball players in the world need a certain someone to coach them up. Matt Furbringer is one of the greatest to be on both sides of that relationship. There was a time, however, when Matt didn't know if he would even play high-level volleyball, much less become the head assistant of the U.S. national team. All my recruiting trips I planned were for basketball. Um, and you know in basketball you can get full scholarships, and in volleyball, you know, it's kind of partial scholarships. And I had a coach in high school, Tom Pestalese, who's now at Irvine Valley College, big influence in my life. And he was my volleyball coach, and he'd always tell me, oh, you could be on the national team one day, you could play for USA. On the other end, in basketball, everyone's like, well, you can go play Division I college, but after that, you're probably done. Matt forewent a college basketball career and instead starred on the Stanford volleyball court. With him, the Cardinal beat UCLA to win their first national title in 1997, but it wouldn't be the last time Matt would see the Bruins. After playing with the U.S. national team and in indoor leagues overseas, Matt starred as one of the best beach players in the world. Then, after narrowly missing the Olympics on the sand, Matt made a decision to focus on the next stage of his career. When John Sprague got the job at UCLA, I knew John, I played against him. I know him really well, but more like friendly, you know, friendly with him, and I called him up. Um, I had just missed out going to the Olympics by a few points in 2012. I asked him, he said, well, I don't, I don't have a coaching job for you. I already filled those spots, but if you want to be a volunteer, and I was like, oh my God, a volunteer. And everyone thought I was crazy. Everyone's like, you're going to go for free and go up to UCLA and do it. And I said, well, I mean, what, what's he going to hire me on? Because I won a beach tournament, you know? Like, yeah, I need to learn this. The plan was for Matt to go to UCLA a couple times a week when he wasn't playing beach volleyball. He ended up going every day. But there was one instance when he felt like he got called to the principal's office. About three quarters of the way through the year, John got offered the job here with USA Volleyball and um, called me in his office. And I thought I was in trouble. <laughs> what, what happened? And he calls me in, sits me down, and he starts grilling me about how long I want to keep playing for, and what, you know, what's my commitment. And I'm like, I, I don't know, like when, it, when a good offer comes, uh, like I'm ready to move on. The right offer came along and Matt hopped on board and hasn't moved again since. He brings something to the team that few others can. Yeah, Matt, I think is really valuable. I've, I'm really grateful that he's going through this process with us. Um, he has an unbelievable ability to connect with our athletes um, and our staff. He's, he's lived in this world, um, but I, I think beyond that, he just has a, a gift for connecting with people. Matt feels equally fortunate to be in his position. His goal? To help lead Team USA to an Olympic gold medal next year in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. For USA Volleyball, I'm Josh Franz of the Cronkite Sports Bureau in Los Angeles.